Hello everyone and welcome to my channel The Learning Bird. In today's video, we are going to see how we can trigger execution of UiPath projects using a batch file. Then we will also see how we can pass input parameters from this batch file into the UiPath workflow during triggering of the execution. And finally, we will also see how we can trigger scheduled executions using the Windows Task Scheduler. So the Windows Task Scheduler can trigger the batch file and pass on the input parameters into the UiPath workflow. So let's get started and see it in action. So this is the UiPath Studio. We have created a new project. We will show a very simple example of a message box. So we just have dragged a message box and we want to post a hello message. Hello world. It's a, def it's a generic default message. And when we execute this workflow file, the hello world message should come. Now we want to trigger this particular workflow or XML file using a batch file. So let's see how this can be done. To create a batch file, what we can do is just create a text file, new and text document. Let's name it as batch file with an extension of PT. So it's asking to change the file extension. We have to click yes. So we can see now it has become a batch file. Let's open in the edit mode. So it's a normal notepad file. We have to provide our command over here. So let's see how we can write the command. So the syntax is something like this. We have to pass the path of the uirobot.exe, this file. Then after a space, we have to write hyphen f, then again a space, then we have to pass on the path of the XML file, that is the UiPath workflow file, so which we want to execute. So how do we get this uirobot.exe? So the uirobot.exe is generally present in the app data, user app data, local programs, UiPath and studio folder. If you do not find for any chance this particular file uirobot.exe, then you can do a Windows search and you might find the location. So whichever location this uirobot.exe is present, we need to copy this path and then provide it over here. Okay. And then we have to also write the executor name that is uirobot.exe. Once this is done, we have to just pass on the XML file path. So this is the XML file. So I'll go to the properties and then I can take the path. Plus we have to also give the name of the file. So in my case, it's main.xml. So perfect. Our batch file is ready. We'll save it and close it. Let me close the studio also. Now we'll go to the batch file, double click it to execute. So yes, the message box is here. We got the message hello world. So let's move to the next one. What if we want to pass some input parameters into our workflow file? How this can be done? Let's see. Instead of hello, I want to pass a name from the batch file into the workflow. So it will be hello have some input argument which we have to pass. <coughs> Let's create an input argument in the argument section, the same name and the direction is input and it's a string. So perfect. Then let's go to the batch file now. So in the batch file we have the path of the UI path robot. Then we have the hyphen f and then the path of the XML file. We would now also need to pass on the input. So after a space, we have to write hyphen input in a space and in curly braces, we have to give the input argument name and the value. So in our case, the input argument 
we have to exactly copy it from whatever input argument we have created inside the UiPath Studio workflow and then paste it over here in single quotes and whatever value let's say hello and then each time whatever we change that will be passed on to our word profile our batch file is updated now let's execute and check okay the batch file has executed let's check for the message box so perfect we got the message box and this time instead of hello world we got hello lipica because this is what we have passed into the input argument so you saw how we have created the batch file and passed the input arguments also now the last step we will see is how to schedule it using the windows scheduler so search for task scheduler so this is our task scheduler so this is our task scheduler let's create a basic task <coughs> here we'll give some name like UI path patch run demo then click next we can choose what should be the frequency to show you let me just select one time and then next we have to set up a time just let me raise it to one more minute and then next we should select a starter program and then here we have to browse for the batch file and click open and then next and everything is done let's click on finish so our task has been created and now let's wait for the task to be triggered at the schedule time so perfect our task scheduler has got executed and you can see that the batch file has been executed and yes we also get the message box so this is how we have scheduled a task from the windows task scheduler which started the batch file and we passed an input argument into our workflow which the batch file has triggered for us so hope this video was helpful stay tuned to my channel for more such videos happy learning thank you